Hello everyone and welcome to Vantage Corner. In today's tutorial, we are going to install OpenWRT directly on our hard drive. And in the previous tutorial, we have installed OpenWRT on the USB and we have live boot the PC. Uh, so if you haven't watched the video, you can check out the notification on the top right corner or you can check out the link on the video description. And because you cannot reside a partition why it is mounted to the system, I mean when the OS is running, I have to use another OS in order to boot up the computer. And after that, I'm going to download the firmware and use the DD command to write the image to our hard drive. And after that, I'm going to resize the partition so that OpenWRT will have a bigger this partition. You can boot up your PC with different operating system, for example, Ubuntu or CentOS and whatever but in my case I am going to use Phoenix because it's small just uh, 500 megabytes and because the latest version doesn't support legacy BIOS so I'm going to use the version 12.0 so let's go here and download the ISO file I have already the ISO file with me that's why I am going to burn this ISO file directly to my USB right and boot up the computer instead of waiting for it so let's just do it Writing an ISO file to the USB is very easy. You just need to open Rufus application and then select your ISO file. And after that, just connect the USB right to the computer. It should be detected here and press star and make sure on the partition stream you have selected MBR. After that, press star and the application will start to write the ISO file to the USB right. And that's all. Now the USB is ready because I already burned it before, so I'm just going to set up the hardware and install OpenWRT right away. So this is the PC where we are going to install OpenWRT and this PC has two network ports. One network port for the one connection and one network port for the LAN connection or you can connect this port to any of the switch and you will have a extended network and here we have the VGA port for video output and the console port of course for light configuration. Let me connect the hard drive to the PC and after that we are going to install OpenWRT. First of all, let's boot up our router. Phoenix had been successfully put up and this is our command line interface. So let me check if we have a working internet connection. Right, so we have some good internet connections on our first interface and let's do a ping. All right, good. All right, so the very first step, we need to download the firmware to our temporary OS. And in this case, it is Phoenix. And either you download it directly on Phoenix or you need to start the added hash service on this uh, Linux computer and then use your computer uh, to connect to it at an HHS client and then config everything there. In my case, I will just like directly install it here. So, so I will use the ygat command to download the file. So HTTPS, it will be a long one. So um, download dos. All right, it will be a very long sentence. So, well, and we have wrongly entered the name. So we need to check it. There will be a typo. Downloads.openwrt.org. Release 19.7. All right, so 0 0.7, not 0 0.40. Right, delete it. All right, perfect. We are very lucky to enter the correct firmware URL. So the firmware is now ready. And let me just show you here. And now we need to extract the file. So it will be uh, gzip.d and then open the RT. All right, done. Let's check again. All right, so we have the IMG file. And now let's list our this block 
as you can see we have the SDA and this is our this right so now we are going to use this command to write this img file to the hard drive it is dd and then if equal to your firmware name so open wrt and then of equal to the destination so it will be all right now press enter and that's all we have successfully write the OpenWRT firmware to the disk and let's try to reboot and I will remove the USB right Perfect, we have opened the RT running. All right, so this is open the RT running on the PC. Let's try to set the passwords. All right, let's try to ping go.com. Is it good? Right, ping. There is some uh, ping problem, but the router is up and running. So later on, we can config it via Lucy. And now we only have uh, 250 megabytes of storage because we haven't resigned up this partition. So let's try to do that. And I will be shutting off the PC again and then plug back my Phoenix USB and then boot up all right so we're back to Phoenix again and in this time we are going to use Phoenix to resize our partition where we store all the OpenWRT packages and user configuration so first of all let me list the partition so that you can see it SDA is the hard drive and in this hard drive we have two partitions SDA1 and SDA2 so SDA1 is where OpenWRT is running and SDA2 is the partition where the packages and user configuration is stored so we are going to resize the second partition from 256 megabyte to use our completely spaced hard drive okay so we are going to resize this partition to do that we are going to use f -dict. so f this dev stand for divide and then sda which is our hard drive and then press m for have but i don't need your have i just press p to print the this partition and here as you can see we need to pay attention to the second partition sector so it start with 33792 right and i will press d for, to delete and i'm going to delete the second partition and then click n for a new partition and it will be a primary partition and partition number two to four it will be two and the first sector so i need to type in the previous star sector so it will be three three seven nine two all right so make sure we enter everything correctly for the last sector, set you the default one because it will be the last sectors on your hard drive so that you can use the maximum space on your hard drive. Press enter and it will ask you that this partition contains a ext4 signature. Do you want to remove the signature? I will press no because I don't want to remove the signature. When we're done, let's press P again to review everything. As you can see, the second partition had been changed to 19.6 GB while previously it is only 250 MB. So we done and press W to write the change to the disk. And finally, we have to run another command to enlarge the actual file system to fill the larger partition size that we have just to. So let's run this command, resize to fx. DEV and then it will be SDA2. Press enter. 
and it will ask you to run this command first so i will run it app at ck app at dv sda2 and then we done and let go back and run the previous command one more time and press enter it will take some time to enlarge the file system to fix the partition size because it is 59 point because it is 59.6 gigabytes so it will take some time to do that but if you are using only like 16 or 32 then it will be faster so just give it a little bit time and once it's done you can safely remove the usb right and boot up your openwrt router the command is finished and we have successfully resigned our partitions from 250 megabytes to 59.6 gigabyte and let back to our main computer where we are going to configure Lucy via our web interface and let's just do it we back to the computers and let's just open our web interface so that we can configure the router and previously I have changed the LAN IP to 192.168.9.1 to avoid the confliction with my private with my SP router so I can just click login because no password has been set right so let's go to system software and as you can see the free space is now 63 gigabytes and previously it's only 250 so we have a working OpenWRT router running on the Intel D525 CPU with 2 GB of RAM and 63 GB of uh, storage so you can store a lot of things or you can even host a web server on it that's all about the tutorial you have a working OpenWRT router installed on your PC and yep thanks for watching one more time and if you want to have a check on the previous video feel free to click on the notification and the link descriptions and as always if you have any questions or any idea feel free to leave it in the comment section and lastly please like share and subscribe to the channel if you see the video is helpful and if you want to support me every single like every single comment every single subscriber matter a lot to me and to this channel thanks and see you